Well, for people that don't know, why don't you tell us a little bit about the show? Because everybody listening has, doesn't know what it's only been on for yeah, a tell minute. Us yeah. the, tell yeah. us about the team and school and everything. I guess the yeah. name says it all, right? Monica? <laughs> I, I thought it was like Cheers. It was a spinoff, but no. Yeah. No. It's a, no. It's a docu-series. It's a, docu- mm-hmm. it's a six-part docu-series. Um, Created by the producers of Last Chance You. So if you've ever seen yes. that, and it's about co- uh, junior college football, um, and they wanted to do a docu series about cheer. So they came to Corsicana and they spent about four months with us. They filmed about twelve hours a day. Because you have a famous cheer program. We ha- yes, yeah. I mean in the cheer world we yes. do. You know, yeah. and um, so I think they were looking for someone that was um, you know had won before. We had won at that point thirteen. <laughs> National championships. Wow. 13 and national at championships. At that point. now. And here's a kid. Yeah. Navarro. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten to that one yet. No, listen. Yeah, I've, only, I've only gotten through one episode, and I'm like, are they ever going to get the pyramid? <laughs> <laughs> I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. So what I've been doing is every episode I watch, I just start following the people on Instagram. And obviously, yeah. if you start following, you're going to see what yeah. goes on in the show. It yeah, doesn't but matter. But I don't know how Morgan's toes are going to turn out. <laughs> like, I don't know. Morgan's toes, they're fine. They're pointed. They're not All right. that much better. But we're <laughs> <laughs> pointing. Um, but you guys, you guys are a community college, yeah. and so you guys are competing against big schools, like the big thirty thousand people schools. Well, we're we are in a junior college division. Okay, but good. we like to compete against everyone. As far as we just want to go out there and put out the best score that we can. So when when they say we've won five grand championships, that just means that we had the highest score of every team. Competing every university, everybody, everybody there, everybody and, and their mama. Yes, yeah. and so even besides those five, the there's been many that we had the second highest score if we didn't have the highest. So, which is kind of a goal we set for ourselves. We want to go out there and be the best of the best, not just in our division, but of the entire competition. Well, you know, you know why I think you guys are also champions is because your culture is so great, and it all starts with you. I mean, like you mentioned. Last chance, you you watch that and you see the change of culture on those football teams, right. and you see that no matter how talented your people are, they go down. You have people that is it's impossible not to fall in love with your cheerleaders on your squad. Absolutely, yeah. Your competitor called you the Nick Saban of cheerleading. <laughs> Whoa! That, I mean, when that's you saw that, that's pretty intense. Did yeah. you want to call him and be like, "Yo, hey, I hate you still because you compete, <laughs> but thank you." Yeah, no, very, very big compliment. Uh, number one, I'm I'm a big Alabama fan. Right and I love Nick Saban. Yeah. And so you know, I. I thought that was a huge compliment um, coming from anyone, especially our competitor. Yeah, because he wants to be like he 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 wants to be you and surpass you. That's great. 